so I could just say a few words perhaps about how I approached the Terra Tremuit text, uh, which was the commission which I had uh, for Aura, which is very exciting. Very exciting to think that uh, this piece is going to be sung by musical experts and singing experts. And this really informed my, uh, my setting. So um, Terra Tremuit is a text for Easter Day, and it means the earth shook and was still. And that's the first part of the text. And I wanted to show that in my text. Palestrina didn't particularly show that, but I couldn't have a text like that without attempting to realise it in some way, music, musical terms. So I have my lower voices coming in because I felt that the, the, um, the, the trembling would start with a low a low tremble on an earthquake. And uh, the, the three lower voices, the, the basses and tenors, come in uh, in imitatively with a very trembling, um, very ornamented, small intervals. And then there's a place where I set it in another way, where in a very rapidly descending fashion with false relations. And I was really imagining the sections of the, of the earth falling against each other, te you know, tectonic plates sliding against each other. And so I've got upper voices and lower voices and then combinations of voices uh, in textures sort of spiralling out of control, really. And that's the feeling I wanted to engender, that we didn't know where, where the rootedness of the earth was. It was very bewildering. And the second half of the text, in the second half of the text, God rises up in judgment. And then I've, I've used something similar um, at, in a rising phrase, uh, and building up really to a final alleluia. With two such definite images, uh, the, the pictorial transcription into music was just so obvious I couldn't really resist the temptation. I know that translating music or, or um, putting words to text is, can be done in many, many ways. And this might seem to be a very naive, literal, pictorial way, but it was just there and I couldn't resist it. <laughs> <laughs>